What's going on? This is Marco from Codalistic and in this tutorial we're gonna go through the overview of what Box Scripter is and how it's used to enable you to securely and privately store and back up your data to your chosen cloud storage provider before it even leaves your computer. I'll also show you how to install and set up Box Scripter on your machine. If you're using cloud storage like Google Drive, OneDrive or other online storage, you can get quite a cheap backup solution for your data. You can also use it to synchronize your data so you have it available on any device as well as share it with other people easily. One of the issues you might have with mainstream cloud storage providers is how do you keep your data private and secure so that no one who might get access to your online stored data could read it or make sense of it. You could choose to use some of the ready-made cloud storage solutions that also offer data encryption out of the box. Those kind of services tend to be much more expensive than the usual online storage services. But of course, you can also use Boxcryptor. It's an application you install on your computer that supports mainstream cloud storage providers like Google Drive, OneDrive and many more, and then encrypts that data before it actually gets uploaded to one of those providers. This encryption of data on your computer before it even gets uploaded to the online storage is known as a zero-knowledge encryption. Using this encryption, even if a malicious person or hackers get access to your online storage and steal your files, they will not be able to make any sense of it. If we take a look at supported providers on the Boxcriptor webpage, let's go to Product Supported Providers, you can see a list of all the online cloud storage providers you can use with Boxcriptor. As you can see, there are many well-known providers that you can use. Also, if we check the pricing, let's go to pricing, we can see all the plans we can use for the service. What's interesting here is that we can use the free plan for private non-commercial use and it's limited to only one cloud storage provider and two devices. This seems like a great deal to get for free and should satisfy majority of the people. For anything more than that, you can upgrade to one of the paid plans, for example Personal, which costs 48 bucks per year and still is quite an affordable option. For this tutorial, we will be installing the free version, so let's get started. Click on Download in the navbar. Now click on Download Box Scripter and save it somewhere on your drive. Now open the file that has been downloaded to start the installer. Click Next on the wizard, accept the license agreement, click Next here, accept the privacy policy, click Next, choose if you'd like to send anonymous data to Boxcriptor. This way you can help them improve the application. Choose the folder where to install the Boxcriptor application and finally click Install to install Boxcriptor. During installation, the installer might ask you to close the applications that need to be closed in order for the installer to update them and install Boxcriptor correctly. You can try restarting them now and let the installer finish without having to reboot your computer. If not, you might have to reboot the computer after the installation finishes. Let's try restarting the apps immediately. If everything went fine, the installer has finished successfully, so we can click Finish to exit the installer. At this point, the application should start automatically, and a new prompt should appear to either sign in to Boxcriptor if you already have an account, or create a new account if you don't have one. Here, we'll choose to create a new account. So let's enter our personal details and then choose a password and click on proceed. Now I have a very important note to make here and it's that the password we have just chosen can never be retrieved again. When using other services you can usually choose to reset your password if you ever lose or forget it. Not here. The idea with using Boxcriptor is that you and only you have access to your password. 
so no one else, not even anyone working at Boxcryptor or Google Drive or similar, is able to decrypt or access your files. That makes it a truly secure zero-knowledge storage option. So, check the option that you understand this and click Create Account to create your account. Now we can wait a few seconds to have your newly created account set up. And also, don't forget to confirm your new account in the email you just received in your inbox from Boxcryptor to avoid it getting deleted. Now choose your license. Like we discussed earlier, we will use the free license, so click I want to stay with the free plan at the bottom. If at this point you get the message that mounting the Boxcryptor drive failed, you should restart the computer now. After the computer has restarted, Boxcryptor should be ready to use. If you get a Boxcryptor tutorial pop-up window, just close it down. Ok, so that's it for this tutorial. Check out the next video where we'll go through on how to use Boxcryptor to secure and encrypt your files that are uploaded to the online cloud storage. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video!